So, ladies and gentlemen, that's Flight Lieutenant Noel Reese in his Eurofighter Typhoon FGR-4. This is the RAF's latest combat aircraft. And over the next few minutes, Noel will be showing it off and performing an intricate display. Starting with a dirty barrel roll, his gear down. But with over 200 computers on board the aircraft, all the limitations are taken care of. And Noel can literally just fly the aircraft and it's carefree handling. A half cube in there and Noel rolling inverted for the inverted pass. At the end of this, he will be pushing up into a ne negative 3G inverted half cuban. Negative three, with all the blood rushing to his head now. This is one of the most uncomfortable maneuvers of the whole display. Hitting about 2,200 feet at the top of that, and about 200 knots. He'll soon be accelerating down the backside of the maneuver. Coming past us for the high-speed pass. Now he'll be traveling at about 690 miles an hour. That's just under the speed of sound and about as legally fast as he's allowed to fly over the UK. I'm pulling up into a 9G wing over. This is one of the highest G loadings of the entire performance. Again, Noel's whole body weighing nine times what it normally does. Lucky for him, he's got some incredible air crew equipment. He wears a full body G suit which squeezes all his legs and his torso, keeping blood in his head and allowing him to stay conscious. And Noel now coming into a series of derry turns. And a derry turn is one of the basic maneuvers of air-to-air -air combat. And you'll see Noel rolling one way, but turning the other. And this is with the aim of trying to confuse a pursuing opponent and throw him off your tail. now once again selecting throttles idle he'll be slowing down now for the low speed high alpha pass this is one of the few times that Noel gets to enjoy himself and look down at the crowd so as he comes past please give him a big wave he will be watching Noel's Typhoon now with a ground speed of around 129 miles per hour. That's about the speed you'd expect from a light aircraft, not an aircraft weighing over 16 tons. Give him a big wave, ladies and gentlemen. now once again selecting reheat or afterburner and allowing you to feel the full force of two EJ200 Eurojet engines each one producing over 20,000 pounds of thrust that's around the equivalent power of 150 Formula 1 cars at full throttle Now, Noel and the rest of the team are from 29 Reserve Squadron, based at RAF Coningsby in Lincolnshire. 29 Squadron is the operational conversion unit of the Typhoon Force. And it's where all qualified pilots come learn and learn how to fly 
and more importantly how to fight the Typhoon before moving on to frontline squadrons. Noel himself is a qualified pilot instructor and an electronic warfare instructor on 29 Squadron. An outside turn there, another negative 3G manoeuvre. And if you can see any pilots in the crowd, you'll probably see them all wincing as they watch that. Now the primary role of the Typhoon is round the clock protection of UK airspace. And as I speak, there are crews sitting ready to scramble at a moment's notice to get airborne and protect UK skies. And that quick reaction alert task is carried out at bases in Lincolnshire and in Fife. And Noel now performing a minimum radius turn. He's turning the aircraft through 360 degrees in about 300 feet diameter turning circle. Two barrel rolls, two corkscrew away before Noel will reposition for one final pass before he will point the aircraft's nose skywards and depart in a zoom climb. He'll be climbing from about 200 feet here up to about 8,500 feet in a matter of seconds. So as he comes past, ladies and gentlemen, please give him a good round of applause and a wave and thank you very much for watching the 2014 Royal Air Force Typhoon Display.